Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we started implementing our uh, uh, sequence to sequence uh, transformer model. We implemented the encoder part like uh, this uh, box and in this video, we will focus on the uh, implementation of decoder. Okay. So before going to the decoder part in encoder, uh, uh, we missed to add these uh, residual connections. So for residual connection, we simply add the input to the operation at the output of that particular operation. Okay. So it's simply like uh, I, I push the corrected code. I noticed it while I was editing the video. So it is simply like we add the embeddings. Uh, so uh, in, in, in the tutorial, it was like this. Okay. So you, ne you need to add embeddings as well to the output of the um, attention as well as uh, uh, the feed forward uh, layer. Okay. So now if you see like uh, this part, this uh, skip connection was missing in the previous tutorial. So we have that uh, updated in the GitHub code. So you should be able to look at that if you need to. Okay. So now let us look at the decoder component. So in decoder, we have uh, two uh, multi-header attention module. And then uh, similar to the encoder, we have a feed forward module. So we simply update our encoder module uh, to create this decoder module. So the only part that we need is this added uh, uh, cross attention, we call it, okay? Because it actually uh, attend the input as well as uh, considering the target sequences, okay? So let us do that as well. So what we will do is first we will update the self attention module to accept key and value. Okay. So let us do that here. So as we have a mask, we simply say kv is equal to none as well. Okay. And then we can simply add a condition here. If kv is not none, we can simply say kv is equal to kv else kv is equal to input. Okay. Now we simply compute uh, kv bs best size and kv sequence length and we don't need the uh, model dimension as it will be the same as the encoder. Um, so we simply say kv dot size. Okay. Now the next thing we need to change is the input to the key and value. Okay. So we will simply say kv, kv, and then we need to change this uh, sequence length of these two as well. Because the source and target sequence length may vary as it is not necessarily that the sequence length of the input would be exactly same as the target sequence length. They can be different. Okay. And that's all our, uh, this is our final multi headed attention, which also work to implement this cross attention. Okay. So now let us copy the code from encoder and then update it for the, for the decoder. Okay. So let us copy and let us paste here. Now let us rename it to be decoder layer. And what extra it needs is simply we will add one more attention and let us call it encoder decoder attention. Okay. And, and this norm will be called encoder decoder norm. Okay. So this is our model creation part. Next, what we need is to add another operation layer here after the self attention module. Okay, so this will be simply like this uh, 
cross at attention module, this one. But uh, before that, we need to accept these two as well uh, in, in, in the forward method. Okay? So, what we will do is we will simply call it here memory. Okay? And we call it here source mask as well as we need the target mask. So, target mask, let us keep it none, but uh, for decoder, this target mask is really crucial. This is nothing but the subsequent mask that we have learned in, uh, in uh, previous videos. Okay? So, in this case, the first self-attention will accept target mask. Okay? And uh, the second cross attention, let us call it cross attention, also we need to update this part, self dot encoder decoder attention and this will also be changed at encoder decoder norm. Okay. Now, this one requires source mask as well as it requires kv is equal to memory. Okay? Now, you see where the kv is uh, going. So, this is simply this uh, cross attention module okay, where key and value are the inputs uh, coming from encoder and the query is the out from, uh, output from the self attention module of the decoder. Okay? So, that is done as well. So, we, this is our encoder layer and then we need to create a separate class to uh, uh, like copy it to create a multi-layer uh, decoder. Okay? So, that uh, we will update the transformer encoder class as, as similarly. So, we will call it transformer decoder and uh, this is our transformer decoder. And here, instead of encoder layer, we will call transformer decoder layer. Okay. And similarly, as we updated the forward, uh, forward method in the layer, we need to accept the source as well as target mask here. Okay. So, we will call it uh, source mask and target mask is equal to none definitely and of course we need to accept memory okay we will not say memory is none because it is uh, uh, important uh, not important but it is really required to run the decoder okay and in layer we will simply pass memory and then we will say source mask is equal to source mask and target mask is equal to target mask and uh, that is all that is our decoder implementation. So, it is like uh, an extension of encoder itself where we add another uh, cross attention layer uh, uh, in the decoder okay? and uh, in, 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 in uh, cross attention, uh, the key and value is simply output of the encoder. Okay? And now, let us test it out. So, what we need is we need a transformer encoder definitely. So, we will uh, have that. So, we have it here and now we will create a decoder. Okay? So, what we will do is we will create a target embedding so, let us call it here target embedding. Let us say we have the source input of the sequence 32 and let us say we have the corresponding target input uh, uh, is uh, 35 sequence length. Okay? And now, we will simply change it to transformer decoder. So, that will be the same and then we get the model decoder. Okay? And here, we need the target embeddings, okay? 
as well as the memory. Oh, we have uh, this output instead. Okay. We will use the source and target mask when we implement the full encoder decoder uh, uh, like uh, with the training module. So we will see that uh, in the next video. So similar to the encoder, let us print uh, length of the hidden state that should be exactly the same as the number of hidden layers and uh, also the output size and it should be the uh, same size as the sequence length. Okay. So let us run and see it. Okay, so we have some issue here. Okay, so here it is. So instead of uh, recorder, we called encoder here. Okay, so let us correct that. Now it should be fine. Let us rerun and uh, see the output. So you see we have uh, six hidden layers and the input source is have uh, um, source input has uh, sequence length 32 and the target uh, is having sequence length of 35. Okay. So I hope that is uh, clear like it is simply uh, an extension of encoder where we have an added uh, um, uh, cross attention as well as uh, uh, we need to input the key and value in cross attention as the output of the encoder. Okay. So I hope that is clear and uh, if you have any queries, ask in the comment section. I will try to address them as well. So in the next video, we will uh, combine both encoder and decoder and we will implement this whole architecture, okay? Meaning by we will implement the whole sequence to sequence model as a encoder decoder class, okay? So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next.